see it there? It's a one, you know. Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People are going, are going, but just hope everybody doing great. From when the summer come, I don't know summer come with the latest updates. So I'm get right into it. The police in St. Thomas are probing a double murder committed in Soho District in the parish this morning. The deceased has been identified as a 22-year-old Amanda Grant, otherwise called DJ and Killy Killy, who is from Middleton Address and 23-year-old Juliana Grant of Top Hill District in Soho. It is reported that about 2.30 a.m., the man and the woman, who is said to be in an intimate relationship, were at the house in Soho when armed assailants kicked the door open to the board dwelling. They reported the open gunfire hitting both victims several times while they were in bed. Reports from the police are that Grant was being investigated as a suspect in a shooting incident in the area. This morning double murder brings to 33 the number of killings recorded in St. Thomas and an increase when compared to last year's total of 28. Now viewers and subscribers, as on hear the news say, this man was also being investigated for a shooting in the area. So if he is the person responsible for that shooting, we don't know if other people him rally back on him or uh, maybe him own turn on him, you could never tell. But nevertheless, it always sad for the youths, them life just go down the drain just so at an early age. And it was also unfortunate to see a female get caught up in a that. Sometimes we as females make things bad pan our own self, you know, because some of you know that the man they want to lie down with at night time a bad man, even though most of the time, or even some of the time, you know, might not have nothing for do with the badness of go on. But I'm telling you something. No matter feel like, say, your man is going to do somebody something and them rally back pan him, and when them come at the two of them see, and them just going to spare you and make you walk down, down the street. Not go say baby girl. Them say if you can't catch Guaco, you catch him shot. But sometime them catch Guaco and them still take him shot same way. So you have to learn for protect on yourself. You will agree say God I protect we, but and all the time mago do it when him realize say you not know, try to help yourself any at all. That are just my point of view. Moving right along. The police on November 10 arrested and charged a St. Thomas man after he allegedly robbed two men at gunpoint at Loudon Hill in the parish. 21-year-old Brandon O'Field has been charged with robbery with aggravation and illegal possession of firearm. The police said O'Field and another man held two men at gunpoint at about 5.45 p.m. after meeting them to purchase an iPhone 11 cellular phone. Upon the approach of a police team, the robbers ran and O'Field held with the phone and subsequently arrested and charged. Now, viewers and subscribers, this is just another reminder that the thief them come in all different ways, all different forms. Don't fall for them. If you have to meet somebody where you never meet before, sometimes even the person them where you know has set you up, you know. So if you have to meet somebody in person, with cash or something that has a great value, may I beg you no, do it in a public space. So if anything should go left, somebody can say, somebody can help. Do it at a police station where somebody can say, somebody can help. Nobody meet the man down the road at one dead end or front of some business place where nobody in the out on the front or none of them something there. Meet the person in a public space Pierce, that if anything should go wrong, you can get help. Things can get worse, you know, them can shut you too. Them the most bully at gunpoint and just left you just like that. The robbers, them are coming all farm as mistake earlier. What do you hear them to the pose as police officers? Then, them gone to deliver man. While you have some of them are rob you brawling and them don't care. And the other hand, as I say, people you know will set you up just the same. So you have to be careful, you have to look out. Remember, say, not everybody can be trusted. Even though you have one, one, and two, one, one, three, and four, you can trust. Not everybody can be trusted when it commands the money and things that has great value. So people, as I say, don't link up nobody upon no website, upon no site, dating site, no farmer site, and boy, you're going to link up. 
Time is way too serious now, guys. And you have to try to protect yourself. Do it for you and do it for your loved ones. You want to be careful out on the streets. And I don't know if I'm me alone realize, but all of them criminal activities yeah, what take place. Are the young youths them are doing it now? The boy them were in them early 20s, late 20s, and just a brush them 30s. Them no feel like, say, them supposed to get up, go out there and go look it it's like the generation you're born without no hand for them hand left up in a for them mama because me not understand how to see people with them hard working things and just want to take it to free will and if them not go on a free will i'm gonna bad them up and take it away sometimes i'm gonna take them three points and take it away just to see them the nine to five nah do no nothing take it from me let me just say that once more the nine to five na do no nothing you see when week time come weekend or fortnight or mountain time come on a sure on the money on a now forgot this sir with a gun in on and and i wonder if you're not gonna make it one back alive and sometimes you know after they pan the run for the rest of your life in a make no sense on a sure on a little money for do whatever you want to do when you know go work for no one now people more and move on quickly now before we end the video more will take a walk go to an incident that took place in clarendon the bullet rider body of an unidentified woman was found in bushes along a section of darkened spen main road in clarendon on tuesday reports are that about 6 a.m blood stains were observed on a section of the roadway and the police were alerted on their arrival spent shells were also found in the area a further investigation led the police to nearly by bushes where the body was seen the body was removed to the mark for a post Martin investigation continues. Now people, me can't wait for hear the back story upon this for find out why they would do a lady something like this and just dash her away like she not owner. This is sad. Really, really sad. But viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion is valid and I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. My opinion is not always the gospel. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.